This is Talking Hardcore History Trivia. Punic Nightmares. I'm going to read these questions off my phone. I'm going to turn it so Scott can't see it. Because, you know. Your mom can't see it, Trebek. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh, you made me laugh right as I was getting ready to do the intro. <laughs> Come on, all right. You're watching to- uh, Talking Hardcore. Today's a special a start of a new series of episodes we're going to be doing called Hardcore History Trivia with Talking Hardcore. Is that yeah, a good way to say it? Uh, I say Talking Hardcore, Hardcore History Trivia. Say it with a rough <laughs> accent. Talking Hardcore, Hardcore History Trivia. I like it. <laughs> All right, and with us today is uh, our frequent con- contributor and collaborator, Matt Bella, up, Matt? author and also What's giant up? fan of Hardcore History. Hell yeah. Yeah. Glad to be here, guys. Yep, and I'm George. This is Scott. No. This is Scott. This is Ivan. <laughs> no, you're not Ivan. He's <laughs> no, not Scott, cool enough to pull off not, Ivan. Not cool. How about Igor? <laughs> Igor? You look like an Igor. Okay, Igor works. Yeah, okay. So for the rest of this episode, I should change it. Scott Black. slash Igor on my scoring chart. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first of all, guys, the rules for this trivia. One point for each question. Okay. Uh, second rule. Spelling is dumb and does not matter. That's fair. <laughs> as long as I know what you're trying to say, you have to be that close. That's it. Just close enough for me to know what you're trying to say because I can't spell. So the answers in my note are already spelled wrong. So I can't <laughs> just judge your spelling. Okay. Those Carthaginian names, yeah. I actually oh, man. Easy. They're all like some variation of ball, like Hannibal Ball. Hey, 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 Hamel hey, 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 there might be a question in that, dude. Don't give away the answer to Scott. What are you doing? What do you mean? All right. R- rule number three, no crying. <laughs> that's fair. I might cry a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I disagree. If you make Scott cry, that's going to go viral. So <laughs> do I, get five I will make a that? YouTube short of that and promote it with my own funds just because it'll be funny. All right, and then rule last final rule: if you ain't first, you're last. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's literally two. true <laughs> this time because there's only two of you. So how do we do it? Do we raise our hands? Like we gotta no, write. You it write down it down first? on your board. Yeah. And I'll give you guys time to write. When your uh-huh. boards are, when you have your answer written down, you turn yeah. and show the camera. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so so then I'll I'll see the writing. It's not it's not a timed event. I'm sorry, I should have made that clear. Where I'm okay. asking the question, giving you both time to answer. Then you show me your answers, and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong, and mark your score accordingly. There's going to be 10 questions, maybe a bonus question, and I also have a tiebreaker question, which I am not optimistic about needing based on Scott's uh, pessimism coming into this event. Well, and your overly uh, your optimism, Matt. I, I think. Well, I'm he sure. told me how many extra books he read for this. <laughs> oh, I'm done. <laughs> two. I'm done. I read so, two yeah. extra books. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. You guys ready? Yep. All right, let's get into it. This is going to get fun. Question Mm -hmm. one. This Greek, while a hostage in Rome, wrote the history of the Punic Wars. Oh, shit. (laughs) Matt just starts writing before I finished, and Scott starts cussing. (laughs) Wait a minute. Don't show show Matt. He's still writing. uh, Oh, sorry. That's Uh, okay. It wasn't legible anyway. (laughs) Do you No, It's okay. Take your time. No, 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 no. Take your time. Okay. I think that's wrong. It is wrong. Because he's Roman. I saw your board, and that's not right. Son of a bitch. Okay. You ready, Matt? Yeah. Okay. You just say yours because it's hard to read your writing. Unless you want to show it, it and we'll try it again. Time. I'll do better now. Was it Herodotus? Okay. No. Oh, I it wasn't. Libby. I thought that was hey. I, I think Both I spelled wrong. Libby wrong. It doesn't matter. I told you. Spelling is dumb. It's Polybius. Polybius. Oh, nice. Oh. Polybius is okay. close. One. Th- one, those were both great guests. Yeah. Livy, it wasn't Greek. No, he was Roman. I think it, and it was, Herodotus is Greek, but he was but wrong before, time period. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. actually older than yeah. this. All right. Cool, I thought cool. you were going to ask a completely different question, so I mm-hmm. started writing. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's not that guy. Yeah, well, how you he like just, them he apples? He just started writing elephant. No, <laughs> he said this Greek, and he's just like, ah, you must be talking about Alexander. <laughs> no. So that's a big zero for both of you. Okay. Question <laughs> two. Right. What peoples are believed to have founded the city of Carthage? These peoples are believed oh. 
who have founded the city of Carthage. And again, spelling makes no difference here. Got it. But I could be really general on that one. You could, but it, I'm going to tell you, be as specific as you feel like you should be. That's that's my go-to answer on those. Got it. I really think this is probably way more fun to host than to play. I'm enjoying this uh, yeah. already. You guys have all the stress. It's it's one of two things. You but... can talk it through because Matt already wrote his an- answer that... down. No, no, no. I'm looking not – erase that. That's not what I'm looking for. What? I'm looking for – Dude, I said it was general. That that's that's not even close. The, I'm looking for a group of people who are believed to have founded the city, and it was said in the podcast. Uh, it's okay. Just uh, Matt's writing a book over here while you figure this <laughs> out, Scott. <laughs> well, literally, he writes books, so I, I screwed that up anyway. That's okay. You ready, Matt? Yep. Okay, show us your answer. Should I have spelled this phonetically? Oh, nice. That's actually, I think, how I spelled it. The Phoenicians. Phoenicians. Oh. Scott, show your answer. <laughs> I said the Ethiopians. <laughs> yep. Yep. Wow. So then Matt hey, won. Nice try. It's Africa. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, first he wrote North okay, Africans. Okay, f- <laughs> okay, hey, first tidbit here. Um, so in the excellent book, Carthage, Carthage Must Be Destroyed, in which right. the entire like ninety percent of the is the entire history of like everything before what we know from the Punic nightmares. Mm-hmm. Um, it talks it talks about um, their explorers going up and down the coast of Africa, finding baboons for the first time. The Phoenicians, and, you know, fa- yeah, and and founding the city. Like the people, yeah, oh, it was very that's very very cool. It's very cool, man. It's very cool. that is baboons. cool. Oh, they definitely ate some baboons. <laughs> People have been eating. People have been eating baboons as long as there's been people. Well, you got to eat what's there, what's around there, baby. Oh man, yeah. If you're hungry, I think I think they I think they thought they were people when they saw them. Hey, they, but they, they probably still them. ate them. If you're <laughs> hungry, <laughs> if you're hungry, primates aren't that smart anymore. Like it's they're all smart and stuff when you have a big steak. And but if you're are, hungry, there are people. Yeah, if you're right, hungry, well, that's enough, a great point. The, if you're really hungry, the guy, yeah, the guy who let himself get killed by you for your dinner that right? night isn't one that smart either, because he let himself right? get killed by you. Well, that's a <laughs> fact that's disgusting, and also throughout human history happens. Alrighty. Well, I, we can get back to monkey eating stories later. I have not personally, but I've watched a, a meat eater episode where they. Hunting monkeys in the Amazon. I thought mainly of uh, Joe Rogan with that interview with, uh, what was his name? The guy that painted the mural at Facebook. Oh, yeah, David Chang. David Chang, yeah. Where yeah. the locals were. Oh, the, yeah, that was a fascinating. The fascinating. men were eating uh, bamboo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, question three. The Punic Wars began in Sicily. Sicily's an island, Scott. Yep, I got you. The hostilities mm. were initiated by a group of people whose name translates to Son of Mars. Who were these people? One more time? No problem. I should actually probably be reading these all twice anyway. The Punic Wars began in Sicily. The hostilities were initiated by a group of people whose name translates to son, Sons of Mars. Who were they? Got it. Now remember, Mars was a god in the Roman pantheon of gods. Yeah. I know. I just don't recall the name. That's fair. Uh, shit. We're going to have to, this is going to be interesting to see if Scott gets one of these. Can, I'll give Scott a clue right now. No, yeah, go ahead. You're no. welcome to, you're welcome to fire out a clue. Don't remember who it was. Remember why it happened. Uh, uh, that didn't help me at all. Yeah, I know the answer. I understand. No, nah, I think it, he's with you. No, no, because I heard my no, friends there, but I, I, <laughs> no, the Sicilians, hold on. It's nothing to do with Sicily. I know, I know, but the, God, Dan just talked about, anyway. Yeah, I just you listened just listened to this. To this. I just okay. completely forgot. That's okay. The only it's reason the I remember one, it is because, yeah. yeah, the only reason I remember it is because as I was listening to it, I paused and made this note with the question in my phone. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> no. All right, I'm, okay, I'm ready to come up I, with an answer. You take your time. I won't look. I, I may not be right Remember, here, points for humor. If you make me laugh, I might give you a partial point. So if your answer is wrong, 
but it makes me laugh. There might be partial points awarded. He's over here writing a novel now. Nope. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, show your answers. <laughs> I have Roman soldiers slash mercenaries. Okay, they and live they live here. here. <laughs> That's great. The answer I was looking for actually is the Mamertines. Mamertines. Okay. Damn it. But were they Which Roman translates soldiers? to, uh, they were mercenaries, but I don't know that they were yeah. Roman. Well, I think they were partially Roman, but they were the... It, the, it, it was a big. It was like the, the time, king, right? of, the tyrant of the island. If you remember, he died, and he was he left this the island to Rome, but these mercenaries were still there and decided, well, he's dead. Let's go ahead and just kill these people and take their they wives. They killed and families. all the. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, like if you kill this guy, you get his wife and family, and you take his house and you just live there. Yeah, that was in the right. Punic. That was in the first Punic War. Yes, so, that yep. was how the whole start, conflict started because one town asked for Roman help. And another town asked right. for Carthage's help. And then basically it was a proxy war that started into a real war. But whose but mercenaries Mamertines were they? literally translate – it's Latin for son of Mars, sons of Mars. Mamertines. Who's, Mamertines. Who's, who's, whose mercenaries were they? Right. I think they were – they were the tyrant's mercenaries, but he died. But I think okay. they were – you might be right so, that they were Italian – I'm not sure yeah, they were Roman. I, I think calling them Roman is a bit too specific. Well, so. and I was looking for the yeah. name Son of Mars anyway. But And then the All other right. thing is in that question, remember what happened is some of the Roman soldiers came over and saw what the Mamertines did and were like, oh, that's right. let's yeah, do that. So that's the let's go ahead and right just there. kill these people yeah, that asked yeah. us to come help them yeah. and I'm take incorrect. their families. And it's, then Rome – came down hard on those guys. They executed all of them this after is... beating them. Okay, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. All right. So, I mean, if Matt's only got one of three, and I've got Right. Zero this is making three. me feel good. I didn't want... I, 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 I would rather go harder at the beginning, and then as we go along and I find out this stuff, I can I can pull back. If question you 10 know? is what kind of yeah. animal Hannibal led over the Alps, I mean, I think Shh. we're on a good track. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that off. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. All right. How many answer, elephants? Yes, I was going to say, Scott, the answer is elephant. Yeah. The elephant that, I didn't know if you knew what he was asking. <laughs> Could I draw a trunk? And look <laughs> <laughs> Again, points for making me laugh. All right. This one might be a little easier. Question four. What year did Hannibal cross the Alps? Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, these these are trivia, right? I got to go a little specific. I can't go like I can't do trivia with with base based on like broad things, right? They have to be like actual questions that have definitive answers when a lot of things from ancient times don't have definitive answers. So yeah, I got to just... focus on the stuff that has answers. And just like the uh, post I made in the Discord server, uh, Hardcore History Discussion, um, we do actually know the date to the day of the Battle of Cannae, which is amazing. You know, it's like you're trying to give Scott answers for later. No. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't ask what date no, it was. No, no. I think that's awesome. I, I, so I was trying to do the last date I remember hearing, since I already wrote my answer. I'm sure Matt did already, too. He's still right. Matt, are you ready? Uh, um, we lost Matt for a minute. There he is. Hold on. All right, good. I was gonna get cool. really bummed. All right. So, okay, Scott, you were saying the the reason you wrote what you did, or you want to show your answer first and then say why you're wrong? Well, my answer is wrong. Yeah, I know it is. I can see it. Okay. So, the last date I remember them talking about was two thirty eight or two forty one. No, two forty one, and that was when uh. Scipio Africanus was, you're way off anyway whatever I was sub trying to subtract 30 years because he spent 30 <laughs> years running around Italy but you're still 16. off so I, yeah 198 Matt what is your guess 218 BCE nailed it Matt nailed it Woo! damn it Woo! oh and I I said AD so I was wrong anyway did you say oh, AD my God. <laughs> wait, why did wait, you wait, <laughs> what, what year did you write what year did you write 198 not, not, AD. One in the year 198 AD, like yeah, the, the Roman Empire was no, well still there. Yeah, still there. <laughs> the Empire. 
Yeah, the Empire's still the there. The Empire. Don't you worry about it. Did it's you fine. think cannibals running around after Caesar? No. <laughs> no, it was a mistake. I know. In fact, here's another tidbit. Hannibal Barca is the reason people like Julius Caesar were created. So, in, oh, I think you're right. It, yeah, in in, in it, it, I forget what episode this is, but Dan talks and it's earlier. I think it's prior to Death Rose uh, of the Republic. Death Rose, yeah, I think it's prior to that. But they, he talks about Roman society being holy. That's a bit, the first episode of Death Rose. Okay, holy constru- Yeah, right, right. Holy constructed around you know, making someone who's so ambitious and so politically savvy and able to be an excellent warrior. And it's because of the threat of Hannibal a hundred years earlier that Uh that they forced their society into creating such people. And so if you want to blame Caesar for the burning of Library of Alexandria, then blame Hannibal for creating Caesar, you know? (laughs) Right. You know, one thing I have to bring up, Matt, uh, George has this fancy drink. He he likes to... He likes to chug on. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. This is a nice 2023 20, cinnamon whiskey. I've yeah. uh, been letting breathe for a couple of uh, minutes. Right on. I yeah, have some he, fine, bo- a fine boxed Pinot Noir here. Nice. You want to smell? No, he drinks it on the rocks. Would you like a nice smell, Matt? Yeah. Here? <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, there you go. And I'm, I'm sipping on some 18 year old age rum. No, with Coke wow. or are you drinking nope, it straight? Nope, just oh, look at this classy bitch. Yep. Okay. I find that Fireball on the Rocks actually tastes good without being disgusting like most whiskeys. And mm-hmm. I admit, and I hope people roast me in the comments because I think it'll be funny. And I admit yeah. that it's ridiculous. And I've tried to drink actual things like somebody my age should drink, but they're disgusting. No, George just doesn't have hair in his balls yet. That's just what happened. Anyway, qu- anyway. Question five. <laughs> what is the name of the group of soldiers who make up the last reserves of the Roman forces? Usually in their late 30s and 40s, they typically wielded spears. Hmm. Yeah, I know this one. Man, too. I am freaking killing it with these questions. Uh, I was were they... Go ahead and ask hmm. a question. That's fine. Were they featured at the Battle of Zama? Uh, if oh. that was not already the answer to a question, the final as battle. As far between... as I know, they were, they were. <sighs> if I remember correctly from the podcast, I think you might be thinking that. That's. I'll give you a little bit more hint. I believe that they do mention this in Punic Wars number two. I think it's three. No, it's two. Okay. I think it's two. And it's. And it's mentioned when they're talking about a lot of the losses that Rome's taken to Hannibal. Right. So I know this is incorrect, but I just wrote the first thing that came to mind. Hey, Uh, sometimes that's the best you can do. At least you're not going to have to – you're not getting skunked. (laughs) If Scott gets skunked, I feel like we should come up with a penalty – and we'll let the people in the the comments vote what the penalty should be. Like in college – People who got skunked were supposed to do a bun run, but Ooh. we're adults. I'm not making him do a bun run. <laughs> this is going to be wrong, and I know it's wrong. It's it, that's fine. At least it's a it's a Roman word. Okay, so <laughs> I, I have centurions, but it's I think it's just the reserves. Honestly, I forgot what the name yeah, is. Yeah, this yeah cent, yeah. I've what do you got, veterans. Matt? Veterati, which is probably not even a uh, word. I like it though. You tried. <laughs> the yeah. answer is the triaria. Triaria. Oh, that's great. That's great, man. Because mm-hmm. they used the yeah the, yeah. I think the the Spears name was like, so they were in the like third that. row. Yeah, or they, in yeah, the they third were the row? third yeah. row, right? They were yeah. made up of the the veteran soldiers who were older, late yeah, heritage, the, the young guys. They, they, yeah. put, they, they put the uh, like the the green troops first, and then like the right. the yeah, the, and that's why I remembered it, it because of Zama because of they had the specific mm-hmm. ranks um, mm-hmm. for that battle, um, and, and that that proved to be worthy of the tactics, yeah, right? So, mm-hmm. But I think one of the things that Maybe the reason he put those veteran soldiers in the back is because they were less likely to run away. And so if they're back there with spears, it keeps the two front ranks from well, not just, running back into them. Not just that. They have the That's most experience fighting. Yeah. And they have the they don't have as much energy as the younger, right. you know, the younger, more green. Here's and also... another... I'm sorry, go ahead. Mm-mm. No, go ahead, bud. Here's another tidbit. And this is really a fascinating format. Trivia plus the 
history. Yeah, commentary. I love this kind of stuff. So, uh, in pr- a peripheral book to read around Feuding Nightmares is called The Ghosts of Kenny, and it's about the vet, Ooh. the sold, the soldiers who survived that battle, fled to a neighboring city, made it back to Rome, Shh. and were Shh. and were part. And, and, Shh. Okay. Stop. All right. All right. <laughs> you may or may not be giving away an answer all right, all right, all right. to go, a, go, go, go. a later question. All right. Go. 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 I like I like the tidbits, but we gotta knock it as detailed gotcha. with the tidbits. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, or like watch for me to wink, and that tells you I can't. Right. You might be helping Scott. That's all. all right. And that's okay because the way this is going, you're you're you got a lot more points than him. You got <laughs> two. Two's a lot when you have zero. <laughs> oh man, it's two hundred percent more, right? Yeah, yeah. All okay, right, let's go. <laughs> well, that was my scoring update. I have it marked down in my timeline here. Question five, do a scoring update. Okay. So, again, Matt, two. Scott, zero. zero. Yeah, so Matt. But you're, you're in striking distance. Matt's on a 40% scale here. Yeah, you guys. I like it. I like it, too. This makes me think I did these questions right. No, you did them wrong. Well, you're just going to have to study harder next time. <sighs> All right, question six. Name the Roman commander who fell into Hannibal's trap at the Battle of Cannae. Wait a minute. Okay. There was two. Yes, but one of them was not his day. Oh. Besides, you don't know that one either. I don't know how to spell <laughs> his name. I told you spelling is irrelevant. Yeah. No, you get uh, you get a couple letters. If you get a couple letters, <clears throat> I will give it to you. <laughs> That's all you got. I could just write like, like A, E, I, O, and U. Like throw out some vowels. <laughs> and I might give it to you. I, That's how dumb spelling is. So don't worry about it. Mm. Got it. Okay. Matt's ready. Scott, you got 10 seconds. That's enough time for me to take a drink. Yep, exactly. That nice boxed wine. Ooh. That tastes like vinegar to me. I don't remember his name. Okay. That's fair. Probably probably Roman. I would not either. It's not like he's Marius or something where you really get to know him. No, it was so quick. They were talking about yeah, the two, he basically, two consorts that were He's there. a consort. Yeah, console. Console, yeah. Whatever. Console. Console? What's the term, Matt? Oh, uh, yeah, console. C-O-N-S-U-L. Yeah, yeah like, a pre- Thank you. Pa- like a president, yeah. vice president back when the right. vice president actually used to have power. <laughs> right. But so that was his job, and he dies at the Battle of Cannae. Yeah. Well, you said soldiers. fell into his. Tra- you said fell into his trap, not dies. Those are two different people. But he but, dies. Well, then I have it wrong because he takes his. Ring, I, I th- he gives it. No, no, no. I, I You're thinking of the I, other I, guy. You're I, thinking I of the remember, other guy. I can't remember if the guy who fell into his trap, who was commanding, died, or if it was just the other guy. But I think no, nope, they is both right died. And, or no, they okay, did. Yeah, okay, if, if they if they both died, then we're both right. But let's go with the. Let's, let's see what answer you're looking for here. I think they both died. It's not. It's definitely not Polybius. I yeah, forgot. I, I, I don't think the con. I don't think a console made it. Okay, to show work. your answer. There you go. Polybius. Ba- Varus. Varus. Yes, Varus. That is correct. It was Varus. So and... there were two consoles. I don't... Okay. So right. they sent a super. They sent a super army against Hannibal. Eighty thousand troops. Console pro console. One commands one game. One commands the other. Varus was more hostile. The other guy whose name I cannot recall. I um, can't either. And I'm glad but... you didn't ask or ask that question. Uh, was more conservative and cautious, and he was like, yep. "Let's be careful." This guy has kicked our asses twice, and Varus was like, "No, Rome, go!" And um, on the day he was commanding, he launched an assault and fell right into into Hannibal's trap. Yep, accurate. And then <clears throat> Dan tells the story about one of the survivors running into the other consul. Yep, who was also bleeding, was bleeding out, and it's like, right. "Take my horse." Yep. He's like, no, I will not stand trial again, and I will not throw my other, my fellow console under the. Uh, basically, like I'd rather die here than to dis dishonor myself. And he told him to stop being stupid and go. Yeah, and then the yeah, anyway. That okay, was, that was it. This is a fun one. Okay, <laughs> question seven, also known by historians as the Lion's Brood. Mm. Name Hamilcar Barca's three sons. Got it. Uh, wait, I Oh god, I have two of the three. 
Good question. Ezra All these are good. <laughs> you good, Matt? He's erasing a lot. Let's give him time. Yeah, no, I wrote the same name twice. I have two of them, and I can't remember his younger name. Take your time. Name. Take your time. The one who set the traps with him or the one that was in Spain? Does this help you jog the memory? Remember, one I of his wrote... brothers was fighting the soldiers in Spain. Yeah. One of them was with one him them... and was basically doing the hardest parts of the battles, you know, right. hiding behind Emily, enemy lines and things like that. One of them went back to Carthage with the bag of uh, like Roman rings. Mm -hmm. and was like, we need some help. Look at what all good we're doing. And he got his head the cut same, off later on. The, well, no, it was the same one. The one who went back with all the rings was the one that died on the ship on the way back to fight the Romans in Africa. Okay. And, and it's when younger, he was younger with brother his got brother. His head cut off. Yeah. I can't remember yeah. his name, man. I got two of them. And I, yeah, well, that's a good If question, you did dude. hear earlier, I had this suspiciously sounding cough. That went casual. I don't know if you heard oh, that. Oh, I already wrote that. I already, I already wrote okay, that Okay, you one had there. that one? Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so let's go and get your answers. I got Mago, the... Hannibal, and Hasdrubal. Oh, no. it was Mago. Good point. You I couldn't have get Hannibal and Hasdrubal. Hannibal yeah, and Hasdrubal. Yeah, I knew you'd get Good Hannibal. Job. Good job. Point Mago's... to Scott. Point to Scott. Point to Scott. All right. Okay. He's on the board. Ding, 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 ding. Well, that's only because I cough suspiciously <laughs> sounding like Hasdrubal. <laughs> Well, I had because Mago honestly, I was thinking you'd be hearing that too, and I thought that would be the one you'd be struggling with. So I was trying to I, help I you both already, out. My first, I mean, I already read mm -hmm. Hastur Bull at that point. Right. It's all Bull. Uh, so Bull is their god, and like Hannibal mm -hmm. means about Bull is pleased, hey, and stuff like that. But right. Mago. But I don't then know you had Mago. Means. What happened with Mago? Yeah. Don't Mago's know the that one means. that died on the ship. I know. No, no, no. That's not what I mean with the name. Yeah, that was the third son. They didn't like him as much. <laughs> okay. You know how it is. Question eight. This general led the night attack outside the city of Utica. Wow. This general led the famous night attack outside the city of Utica. And Utica was a Carthaginian city. It was me time to have a drink this time. <laughs> Somebody sounds cocky. He's got on the board, and now he's getting cocky. He's like, ah, oh, shit, I got two points. Boy, he's about okay. to I think I know points. this one. I think I know this I'm one. I'm sure you do. There's really only one guess. It can I'm, only be I, one person. Yeah. Well, and I'm not going to make you be super specific here. Okay, go ahead and show your answers. They got Scipio. Skip, sk yeah, Scipio, yeah. Scipio, yep, Scipio, Scipio, correct. If you wrote Africanus, Matt, I was going to give you such a hard time. I did no, have that he, down he, as he, my... He, 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 he wasn't would not Africanus have been a, yet. He would not yep. have been Africanus yet until his my victory man. was Alma. And, That's why um, I didn't put... Yep. Good, good job. And and uh, there could only be one general who attacked a Carthaginian city, a Roman general, because until then, A, they weren't attacking Carthaginian provinces or properties. Right. And, That's why and I gave B, you that too. Scipio used that attack to incite the further, you know, conflagration Plus, that turned. Yeah. Plus, the Roman generals that did almost all of the actual not getting their butts kicked were named Scipio. Yeah. There was like so that would have been a good guess. Yeah. Th yeah, yeah. This yeah. was the second Scipio. The first one died to hand. Uh, died. <laughs> Punic you know, Nightmares, the one. name a Roman general. Punic right. Nightmares, name a Roman general. Scipio, you're correct. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Question nine. Oh, sorry. First, scoring update. Matt with four. Scott with two. There's two questions left. Matt has to miss them both. Scott has to get them both to force extra sudden death question. That's not going to happen. But okay, let's it, go. You never know. Question nine. Survivors of what battle made up the core legions that Scipio used to conquer Carthage? This may or may not have already almost been said by a person here on this podcast. I don't remember how to spell it. I don't have I have it spelled two different ways in my notes. Matt will show us how to spell it correctly. I'm sure he will. I'm sure too. I think my questions got easier as they went on. 
well, that's a good thing. Make it feel like you're making improvement. Yeah. Leave you with a good taste in your mouth instead of a bad taste in your mouth, right? You ready, Matt? You re Matt, are you still thinking? <laughs> It, well, I immediately wrote down what I thought it was, and then you kind of tripped me out a little bit because. <sighs> so he mentions so, in the oh, pot. Oh oh oh. Oh, 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 to conquer. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Would you like me to read the question again? I'm sorry. Let me read the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, read the question again. I should always yeah. do that anyway. So, question nine. Survivors of what battle made up the core oh, legions okay. that Scipio I used understand. to conquer Carthage? Yeah. Well, the that's wording according there was a bit to ambiguous. Let's sure. Go, let's go through this and then we'll talk about it. Okay, go ahead. Show your answer. I got Canace. C a n n a c a n n a e. Ah, C -A -N -N -A -E. Oh, gotcha. I have it spelled two right. different ways and, in my and, notes, and neither one of and, them are right. And the ambiguity there, uh, my friend, is that conquering Carthage and defeating the Carthaginian forces outside of Carthage. In the Battle of Zama are two different oh. things. Conquage was not Carthage was not conquered. They just suffered a series of punitive uh -huh. measures by the Roman That's a government point. for decades afterwards. Yeah, until they were That's finally incited, until they were finally conquered at the uh, prompting mm -hmm. of of um. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, 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 okay gotcha, gotcha. There's still questions left here. Okay, okay, okay all, right. all right. No, but I, I, yeah, you're right. That was clunky right, wording. Cool. It's all good. No, yeah. I like it. Those are the kind of things yeah. I like to get right, so I appreciate that. Question 10. Yeah. Again, Matt is now already won. This is just for honor. <laughs> Game oh. straight. Okay. What fruit did Cato the Elder let fall from his tunic in front of the Roman Senate to induce the destruction of Carthage? Banana. If you say D's nuts, you'll get your win, Scott. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I know Scott, it's Scott, it was a banana. This. Scott, trust me, trust me, dude. It was not a banana. It was banana. It's it was definitely banana. not a banana. <laughs> Everybody knows the Romans are famous. Carthaginians were famous for their banana. It, and <laughs> Corinthian, were African, leather. Right? Corinthian leather. Corinthian leather. Rich Corinthian leather. There, right, I, I love it. Archer. Ready? Yeah. Okay, show yeah. your answers. I got fig. Fig. Yeah, yep. good job. Okay. So, hey, so in the long run here. Those answers may have seemed – those questions may have seemed hard, but Matt finished with six, which in yeah. a trivia, I think six out of ten is good. And four hey, no, out of ten no. for the first one is not bad. No, we got to keep no. going. But I will throw you out the tiebreaker Let's question just because we're not doing another Punic Wars one, so we might as well just do it. Now, the way I would do the tiebreaker is whoever's closest because it's a numerical answer, so whoever is closest wins. But, again, this tiebreaker doesn't mean anything. It's just I already wrote the question. Might as well get our money's worth. Okay. okay. What year was Carthage destroyed? Oh, God. That's a good question. Do, 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 do. If, I, if I do the Jeopardy theme song, is somebody going to sue me? Probably. Don't uh, ask. Screw it. Dude. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Your mom likes that song, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. Wait, was Carthage? I, dude, what year I was Carthage destroyed? Now, Matt, why don't you throw? Well, let me throw in some tidbits. Carthage was destroyed by Scipio the <clears> Third. <throat> Scipio right. in this story, because again, as we just spoke about, they did so well after the the Second Punic Wars defeat because they didn't really spend any money on defense. They got really rich, but unfortunately, they didn't have any defense. So the Romans were pissed off that this ancient enemy was doing so well. I'm probably wrong here. Too. So Cato came and did this whole, you know, every time Cato the Elder gave a speech on the Roman Senate, and he would end it with, and I am of the opinion that Carthage, Carthage must, must be destroyed, even though they weren't gonna, at war. I'm going to guess. Um, and this, just, okay. by, just, just, by, just, just by doing math. Uh, sure. Scott, would, okay, show would your like answers. I have a 238. They said 218. Dude, that's the year no. Hannibal crossed the Alps. We yeah, just did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the reason I came up with no, that is because... it was 238. Uh-uh. No, no, 218, Hannibal crosses the Alps. He spends 16 uh. years in, in so Italy. So what year did you say, Matt? I'm sorry? I said two, 238. And then you have to have, like... Wait a minute. Extra... No, you didn't... 
You didn't say 238 because remember yeah. you're counting backwards for BC. Oh, so you right. If, so, I'm sorry. So two eight. Yeah. So two eighteen minus. That's okay. Six, it still was way minus wrong. Minus six two. Yeah, it's way wrong. It was much much earlier than that. Yeah. Because what it was is they they had fifty years of reparation payments. Yeah, and they did fifty it in 10. years. Yeah, but, I no, even said it earlier. They offered decades. to pay it off in ten. Right. But the Roman said no. You yeah. sit there and you make that payment every year to remind yeah. you that you owe yeah. us money. The answer yeah. was one forty six B C. That's that's awesome, man. That was a good question. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. Yeah. Well, okay, All and right. then I have. A fun bonus question. All righty. Can, that... can we wager our points? <laughs> no. Come Matt, on. Matt's already won. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. You guys can have a gentleman's agreement to have it be th- this This was winner take all. But that, you leave me out of it. <laughs> what? And I don't think Matt would want to agree to that because he wants to go down as the first ever winner of <laughs> hardcore history trivia. All right. I guess, Matt. All right, Matt. We okay. Won't, so won't. bonus question. Finish this sentence. The victor is not victorious. If. Got it. Again. Finish this sentence. The victor is not victorious if. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm just making sure you thought out your answer and make sure it's grammatically correct. It's not grammatically correct. But then it might not be the right answer. It, it is. It is. It's the right answer. It's damn the close enough. The victor is not victorious if. Anyway, Matt, you ready? Yeah. Okay. What's your answer, Matt? So this is kind of like paraphrasing wording, but the yeah, yeah, that's all I'm looking for here. I'm not looking for exact phrasing. Okay. The victor is not victorious if the opponent refuses to admit he has been defeated. That's close. Yeah, that'll work. And then Scott just finished it. He he figured out what I was saying. I said if the enemy doesn't. Well, because what you hadn't written down before was the enemy. If the and, and I, I'm going to give it to both of you because the, the quote that right Dan said was, the victor is not victorious if the enemy does not consider himself defeated. That's yeah, that's fair, yeah. Now, cool. and I believe in Death Rose of the Republic at one point he says, the victor is not victorious if the enemy does not consider himself vanquished. Something like that. But yeah, I basically think, I, you yeah. both got that right. See, I thought we were going to have right something on. else, like name the three – Battles where the Romans lost to Hannibal, you know? That was, oh, that's that was a thinking. good one, oh, but I like, thought that would be nice hard. Cani, uh, Trasimene, Tr- and, uh, and Tr- Lake Trasimene. Yeah. And Trasimene. And Trebia. Yeah. And Trebia, yeah. Yeah, that would have been Trebia, hard. Yeah, Trebia. Well, those are the ones. That's what I figured. I tried to go easier. That's what I was trying. That was uh, what I was expecting. <laughs> sure. I have an incredibly, incredibly obscure. Uh, here's one, my favorite part of, the one thing that I love about Punic Nightmares taught me. Actually, I think I don't even think. I don't even think I learned it from this. I, I might have learned it from reading one of the books, so it wouldn't even be fair. It wouldn't even be fair. That's okay. Throw it out but, there. No, it's fair. Ha- Everything's fair. Ha- Hannibal had a right-hand man named Cartholo, and this was his mm. agent who would who would go out. This is during his 16-year occupation of Rome. He would go out, pose as a Roman citizen or whatever, go into the city, sit at the barber shops, the pubs, the brothels, wherever – Soak up the information that was going on. Oh, are the Romans moving this way? Um, are they afraid? Do they feel good mm-hmm. in this area? And then go back to report to Hannibal. And he actually died fighting alongside Hannibal outside the gates of Rome during in his ill, Ill- fated 2011 or 2000 nine. or 211 BC. Nice. It, uh, because during his I Ill- had a question. F- I, okay. I, I, v, I, I struck this question. Uh, I was going to ask got that right. What year? Did Hannibal actually yeah, finally march that right. on Rome? And yeah, then that's what I thought. I go, this is too hard. One. That's a good one. But that's a big deal because, you know, he almost yeah. assaulted the fort the Rome. And, if he'd he have done like, it I, I have to right wait. after Cani, yeah. what would have happened? And See, we'll never that's know. A, that's, well, that's a longer debate that we can get into during the episode. But, well, um, yeah, I can't wait to I, do one on this but, but I, fully because I, well, I've I, thought of so yeah. many questions. I bet. And just I, I love thinking about Cartholo because that guy just the guy's name just comes and goes in history. But his mm-hmm. life must have been amazing. 
just you know the i want an entire 10 episode game of thrones production level right. series about cartholo just being a spy for hannibal yeah dude dude hannibal is like a, they should just do one on hannibal well they'd screw i it mean up. Def- so there well, have yeah been but two... but some of these have been pretty good right well there have been okay. t- there have been... yeah go ahead Scott, well, yeah, definitely go for it. It's like it's like the, the 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 documentary or whatever the show they just did on um, Cleopatra. Okay, you, you can't you can't screw it up. Like, and they screwed it up. Well, it's easy to screw up. No, they. Uh, but I, that's why I I generally don't engage with a lot of that kind of mainstream pop culture stuff because it's like they they have to bastardize the source material so much. To fit it into whatever they're trying to tell. Yeah. That's why I, I love watch hardcore that history. Yeah. That's why I love hardcore history. <clears throat> it's because Dan's like, well, I'm just going to do whatever it takes to get. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Yeah. Right? If it's a He's six hour episode, it's a six yeah. hour episode. Who cares? Totally, well, man. I'm yeah. going to tell. That. He doesn't filter the source material. That's that's I think that's one right. of the biggest things. But I he's mean... also telling you it from his perspective and he's saying it straight off the jump. This is the way I interpret it from reading all of these other sources. So it's not like Dan's always right. right, And he wouldn't even tell you that. Historiosity is a consensus of sources. Right. And he's letting letting you know, this is what this person says. Take this number of troops at this battle with a grain of salt. This is what this other person says. He's not really reliable. These are the sources we have. He's honest about it. it. And that's what history is. Yeah. And this following up on the, on the, ahead, on, the on the on the on the on the media thing, there have been two proposed uh, pre-production type of movies of ab- or movies about Hannibal Barca. One, Denzel Washington well, wanted I've to seen make it. one. You mean the A Team? No, no. Da, 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 da. <laughs> De- Denzel Washington actually wanted to make oh, one. Oh, how cool would it be where, if would he played, played Hannibal? Yeah. Where, I, I'm sorry, he was slated to play Hannibal in a movie that was proposed. How cool the would other that have one, been? Check this out. Vin Diesel wanted to make a three movie series about Hannibal Barca where he played him. No, I'd see that. No, that wouldn't work. Yeah, no, I, I would. I would. As long as he's driving the cars. As long as he's driving the cars no, back there. Be like, like, like through the elephants. I'm driving this yeah. freaking '66 no. Camaro through the no. Alps. Fast and the Furious whole... Chariot Edition, and everyone no. is family. Yep. You call it Fast and Furious. <laughs> I disagree. First Punic of all, Wars. he'd be on an elephant. That'd be the first one. And second, he'd be like, it's all about family. Yeah, he'd say family probably five hundred times. <laughs> That's when he gets his brothers together. Ha- yeah, exactly. and yeah. Mago. And That's like... why he works so good for this story. No, he's the lion's brood, man. No, you'd have to have nah. like Idris. The Elf. Rock <laughs> plays Hannibal. Vin <laughs> Diesel plays Mago. No, Idris. He's a little. He's Mago. Idris Elba but, would be better. But you know who plays huh. hmm. Hasdrubal is Denzel. Huh. Denzel yeah, plays uh, Hasdrubal. Wait, wait, Matt, you're right. George is making that mistake because the Romans, and I believe this was in Punic Wars or Punic Nightmares, where the the Carthaginians weren't, if I remember Dark this skin. correctly, well, black Af- Af- he called them were, black Africans. They were, it was a city funded founded by the Phoenicians. Yeah. So it's like a, it, it, anyway. But Dan I don't care. That. Denzel Washington is Hasdrubal. The <laughs> Rock is Hannibal. Who plays? <laughs> I'm not ha- not Hazardable. Ha- Hamilcar, the dad. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, Denzel yeah, yeah. Washington is the dad. Yeah. Well, now you. The now... Rock is Hannibal. Who plays Hazardable? Nah, dude. Idris Elba's got to be the dad. No. Hannibal. Oh, no. Denzel, Hannibal, Washington. Denzel Washington. I'm with Scott. No. I'm with Scott. Id- Idris Elba as the dad would be great. He's younger he's like, than. Boys. He's younger than Denzel Washington. Yeah, but he's got the voice. Oh, well, oh, if we're right, doing that, right, then Morgan right. no, Freeman is Hasdrubal. Oh, yeah. Oh, Morgan no, no, Freeman is Hasdrubal. Yeah. The Rock uh, is uh, not Hasdrubal. Nice. I'm sorry. Hamilcar. Morgan Freeman is ha- Hamilcar. The Rock is Hasdrubal. <laughs> yep. That this was great. Good. Dude, that is I'll great. This is a good idea. Again. We could write this script. I'm telling you. The problem is a lot of people won't like it. And just because it's just like the Cleopatra thing. They made Cleopatra a black woman. Well, that Cleopatra was Macedonian. Yeah, but she was also inbred like crazy. But so who knows? I'm just saying. That's why people didn't like it. Yeah, no, that's not why people didn't like it. People didn't like it because it was shitty. Well, that if you're gonna do it woke, it's probably gonna be shit. Well, there you that's go. how it works. I guess it was both. That's right. It, that's why, because it shows that you don't care enough to try to get the facts right. Well, and especially people who love history, who love these eras, 
they and care about the facts as much as possible. It's like you're not going to make Alexander the Great be a Swedish looking dude. That would be funny. It'd be silly though, right? We'd laugh for a second and then we wouldn't watch it. Australian. What is what do Swedish people look like, George? (laughs) What do Swedish people look like? Tall (laughs) and blonde. Blue eyes. Oh, because it. it's very sunny. Yeah. There. They, they, they don't get enough sun there, so they need to absorb all that vitamin D. Okay. That would be all funny. Right. But what if – Scott's right. What if he was Australian with an Australian accent? Didn't even try. Because yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Don't see, you don't see a lot of Australians on TV, so their representation is crappy. So if you really want to make an Alexander the Great movie, you have a lot of representation. It's all right, mate. Yeah, We're going you, to take those lines. There you go. <laughs> we got to take out these, uh, these uh, freaking Persians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do an accent. Hey, this is great. Hey, George, great job on the Thank questions. Thank you. It's yeah. a lot more fun hosting than answering the questions. And Scott, good job, too. These were tough, man. Oh, yeah, thanks, good. Man. That, Appreciate you it, buddy. The patronizing in that tone. I like it, Matt. Cheers, brother. You tell him next time, show up with his man pants on. Because if you ain't first, oh. you're last. You know what we could do, too? We Shake a bake. Drinking. Like... If you if you if you miss a question, you you take a sip. If you if you don't get any questions right, you got a shotgun a beer. There you go. Or yeah. fill a whole box of wine. Slap the bag. I think some people say that would be pretty funny if we. Watched. It would, but let's get better at it first. No, this was good. I think it was great. I, I think, like I was expecting, like well, one second. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this, go to the Discord channel. Or to the give us a five star rating on your in your uh, iTunes or whatever. Or give us a like or subscribe yep. to our future whatever. content. Whatever. Yeah. What? Just make it sure that we know that you liked it. If However, you choose to do I, that. I like to see now, comments. There, I'm a I'm a glutton for punishment. So. <laughs> yeah. Like, even if you want to tell Scott how stupid he is. That's great. Yeah, that's we one, love oh, that. Oh man. Or, or how what, you don't like my shirts. Yeah, his shirts are dumb. So you should tell him that. <laughs> now, uh-huh. if you if you if you want to, what I want you to know, okay. The Discord channel would be a great way for you to to discuss this. There's a link in the description. It's a Hardcore History Discord set up by Matt. There is a Talking Hardcore discussion chat in that Discord. Look for us there if you want to to give us any feedback. There is a Gmail account, a Gmail email that I will also put in the description if you have questions for the next trivia episode, which I think we should decide right now what that topic is so that the viewers can write in questions. Actually, I, have I think a question. I, I thought you said it was going to be about Ghost of the Ostfront, no? Yep, you're right. I think I did say that. So let's do mm-hmm. that. Ghost of the Ostfront sounds good. The next hard the trivia? Next trivia. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so any Scott, I, if you I want read, to I I have a reading list for you, brother. <laughs> nice. Oh no, man. <laughs> nice. I'm just going Give him homework. <laughs> I like it. Wait, man. Now, <laughs> so everybody at home listening if you uh, – there's a link in the description with our Gmail account for the Talking Hardcore podcast. If you have a, a question you would like us to use for Ghost of the Ostfront trivia, send me an email. Yeah, let us know. That would be a good one. Yeah, and it would be fun if I didn't have to make all ten questions. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching.